Right now, from tomorrow, Early Childhood Development will be making its official migration from the Department of Social Development to the Department of Basic Education. Concerns have been raised about uh, uh, government's readiness to make this move, to unpack what this move means, and the pros and cons of social investment specialist Shamiso Chimete uh, joins me now live. Mr. Ch Ms. Chimete, thank you so much for speaking to us here on All Angles. Now, um, should we be concerned as South Africans about this migration? I mean, a lot of people would say social development didn't do a good job. Is it likely that DBE will? Well, you know, with a shift as big as this, there are a lot of factors that need to be taken into account. And, you know, we need to make sure that, you know, the welfare of young children is not affected and that it doesn't compromise the quality of early learning. So I guess this move gives, you know, DBE the opportunity to improve on, you know, what on what has not worked in the past with DSD and, you know, try and come up with measures of how to address that. Um, I know currently right now, you know, the DBE in partnership with Lego Foundation has undertaken a comprehensive um, consensus in terms of, you know, providing data around the quality of ECD centers, where they are and the number of practitioners and qualifications of those practitioners running those centers. So that's, that's, that's you know, they do have an opportunity to, to, to really lay the land. And, you know, I guess one of the biggest advantages is in this case is that, you know, this move um, really highlights, you know, the importance of ECD and it will shine the light in terms of making it a priority amongst parents and, com you know, community members. Um, because we know that previously, you know, a lot of parents were not sending their children into ECD centers. So move into DBE could ins uh, ensure that, you know, there's an increase in the number of children enrolling into ECD centers. So these are the kind of kind of pros that you can look at, you know, from, from this move. However, obviously, you know, there are a lot of things that need to be taken into account. You know, we know that, you know, with this kind of function shift, there needs to be appropriate school infrastructure um, for developmental purposes and because children learn through play and for child safety. And we know previously within, you know, DBE with grade R, there's been a lot of um, lack of in inappropriate like infrastructure. And with, you know, this, with early childhood development and young children, you know, DBE really needs to make sure that there is appropriate school infrastructure from a safety point of view and from a developmental point of view. Um, and I guess the other, you know, thing that we're looking out for as social investors in the space is that, you know, there are currently about uh, 400,000 ECD practitioners um, nationally who are working in this space. And a large percentage of these ECD practitioners, you know, don't have formal ECD qualifications, but they've been providing, you know, valuable, effective services within their communities for many years. So, you know, one of the cons is that there's a potential issue that, you know, um, DBE might prioritize your more formal qualifications, which could potentially result in some of these predominantly women not being absorbed into DBE. Um, so these are the things that they need to factor in as we do stand the risk of, you know, a large percentage of women getting unemployed during this whole transition. Mm. Um, yeah, and then, All right. oh, I and don't know if I should, so they um, and, uh, you know, I think a lot of people's concern also is the fact that we have such uh, bad socioeconomic disparities in our country where already, for instance, other schools, you, in, you mentioned infrastructure, for instance, there are other schools in South Africa, your Eastern Cape, for instance, where children have died of malnutrition. Um, you know, if early childhood development goes to the DBE and, for instance, there's kids who die in pit latrines, etc., uh, you know, there's concern there about whether or not this will help in making sure that our socioeconomic standings actually become more equal. Exactly, you know, and, you know, for the DBE, it's not only about, you know, early learning, you know, there are other facets uh, that are needed to ensure good developmental outcomes. And you've just mentioned, you know, one of them in terms of ensuring that there's proper nutrition within these schools, but as well as, you know, parental involvement is critical for a child's success. So, you know, parents really need to be engaged during this process to have a better understanding of, you know, what things that they need to look out for in these schools. And, um, you know, in terms of child safety, and child protection, obviously, because they are absorbing 
a very young, young group of children. So obviously this needs to be done right. Otherwise it does have implications on children. And as you know, obviously the, ch the, the children can't really complain or strike, mm -hmm. you know, like you're more older children. So it's the onus is on us as social investors and people within the ECD space to ensure that, you know, uh, DBE is held accountable to all the plans that they have decided that they want to execute and that, you know, it's implemented in a coordinated manner uh, because obviously they're children that stand the risk of being um, exposed to whatever bad implications come out of this. Mm, all right. Thank you very much for your time here on All Angles. Of course, that was Social Investment Specialist Shamiso Chimede.